What's going on, YouTube KM family? And welcome to a whole nother video. Good morning. Good morning. I forgot to say that. It's the first thing you say in the morning. But um, yeah, we're up today. Um, as you can see, we have been renovating the room a little bit, moving stuff around, consolidating certain areas. We try to make this room as comfortable as possible by the end of like hopefully this year. Hopefully sooner. But anyway, um, Chris is outside cutting wood. We have measured last night um, from the wood that we purchased from Home Depot. And we're basically going to build a TV stand and also a TV, a DIY TV stand, including um, a shelf for a shelf space for Luna to fit her crate in. And uh, it sounds a little weird, I know, but um, right now in the room, the way it is right now, it's a little uncomfortable. And I know once we do that, and then when we have our plan, we have our plans for what we're gonna do with our bed. Um, right now we're working on the entertainment center of the room. And I'll show you guys like how it looks. If you, as you can see, this is a regular TV stand. You can buy like off of Amazon and the TV's just right on top. And then this right here is in the way. So it's like, you know, not, I'm not saying that there's no space to walk or sit. It's just, it's just really awkward. So. We want to find a way to make a shelf where we can consolidate this area and that as well and possibly have shelves around it where we can put other things and consolidate even more. So I'm excited for it. Right now he's cutting the pieces. I'll show you guys what he's doing. You know, we're actually pretty getting pretty good at these things. You, as you can see, we got this uh, snake rack shelf that's obviously, you know, we're going to fill the top up, but uh, we have to get more wood anyway. You can see that we, we, we did pretty good at this, pretty uh, good job. Same thing with this shelf here, you know, still sturdy, still working. Like I said, guys, here we have um, one side of the shelf slash stand. Uh, I'll, I'll explain that later. You'll be able to see it in the room. So now we got to actually replicate this one. Once we replicate it for you, it'll be in two seconds. For us, it'll be 10, 10, 20 minutes. 10, 20 minutes. Ready, set. And there you have it. There you have it, y'all. We have our both sides. We just got to um, connect everything and place everything. We'll do Slow it down. Roll so on. It's easier. And you, you guys will see how the setup is and basically what was the goal of why we're doing this. We cut out. You already had pre-cut the pieces. We had um, counted uh, from the two by eight by eights, and we these are 15 inch pieces that we have we have to connect every everything that we just put in there, like those two sides that you saw. So we're bringing these in there, and we're gonna show you how that's all gonna tie together with these pieces. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, this this gives you an idea of what we we tr what we're trying to do and what we're going for. Uh, this, is, this isn't screwed in yet. This is just to show you guys what we're going to do. Uh, I got to sand a few pieces, and Chris over here is going to take over and drill these pieces in since he doesn't really need anybody to hold it. Yeah, <laughs> it pretty much got it. All right, guys. Boom. Here we go. Got everything screwed up in there. As you can see, this is the lower level. There's, like, levels in it. There's levels. Real levels. There's levels to Honestly, so we got I'm still waiting on Mav to finish up the last two pieces That's why this back piece here is just a little empty, but Soon we'll show you what's going on here. We got everything screwed in nice and stable Heavy duty can endure some weight and Looking good looking balanced on both sides. Everything is looking awesome. So uh When she's done sanding the pieces, I'm gonna screw on the last two and then from there I'll update you guys and show you how we're looking uh, everything that's in here, we're going to organize it here. And eventually, uh, when Lou gets huge, <laughs> when she reaches that growth spurt, um, she's not going to fit in this crate. So what we're going to do is basically make a, a mini house inside of there when she gets to that age. Or sooner than later. But um, yeah, so that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to, to really customize it and make it really comfortable for her. We're going to really enclose it like a box, put wood piece, pieces on this side, wood pieces on that side, so she could it could really feel like a house for her and make it nice and snug. 
But yeah, I really like that we place the TV at a height now, so it's almost like we're in a movie theater in our own home. It's gonna be gonna be fire. I can't wait till you guys see what we do with the bed. Yeah, in a couple Hopefully. in a couple months, yeah, this should be a, a very cool room to be in. We're working every um, day. Yeah, yeah, uh, and it's only a studio, so we're working on what we got, and it's working. So <laughs> if you like this short video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more projects and in detail, if you guys if you guys want to know more about the, the supplies that we order, you know, the, the materials that we use, let me know. Uh, I will put it in the link in the description, but if you want more details what for me to show it in the videos, let me know. Just put it in the comments. But yeah, like put give this a thumbs up. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. You already know, subscribe, hit the notification, and see you soon. Peace.